This video is part of the process optimization use case series, where we'll focus on different techniques to identify process inefficiencies, non-conforming activities, and improvement opportunities. Today, we're going to be focusing on how to do some simple SLA analysis. Now, SLAs can be used across the organization in departments like HR, facilities, IT, and the intention of an SLA is to provide the customer with an expectation of the service that's going to be delivered. Obviously, when SLAs are missed or breached, that has a negative impact on the customer or employee experience, and in some situations, a financial impact based on penalties. Most organizations have KPIs or metrics to help them understand their SLA performance, like things like what percentage of tickets have breached, which category or type of tickets miss their SLAs most often, etc. Where organizations tend to struggle is getting a better understanding of why these tickets are missing their SLAs. Or if we're consistently meeting our SLAs, where are opportunities to adjust them to drive behaviors that will improve the experience for our customers? Process optimization can be used to help analyze tickets that have breached an SLA and, and help isolate the inefficiencies in the, those processes. We're just gonna look at a technique here today on, on how we might wanna isolate incidents that have breached their SLAs within the process optimization workspace. So you'll start out by opening up a mined process optimization project. In this case, we mined 17,000 incidents. Um, and what we wanna do is use the condition builder to focus in on just incidents that have SLA breaches associated to them. So we can open up our condition builder and you may be familiar with this, but there's not a lot of SLA based information that lives on the incident record. Uh, the SLAs and uh, basically live in the SLA task table um, and the information that we would use to filter whether an incident has breached or not is going to live in that table as well. So the good news is our condition builder inside of the process optimization workspace allows us to use something called related list conditions where we can select the related list that is attached to the incident table, in this case, task SLA, and then use a criteria to say, hey, I'm interested in situations in where a record, one record or more on that task SLA table meets the following criteria. And in this case, we're interested in incidents that there has breached value is true. So this would get us all of the incidents in which there's a SLA task attached to that incident record that has the value of has breached equal true. Now, incidents and other work can have multiple SLAs associated with them, whether it's a response or a resolution-based SLA. Maybe we want to use the condition builder here to isolate situations in where just one of the SLAs uh, has been breached. So we can say, and, and then we'll go down to our SLA definition. And we'll say, this is PO SLA demo. So that's the specific SLA definition in which the has breached value is true, and we hit apply. And that's going to get us, I have very limited demo data here, the five incidents that met that criteria where that specific SLA has breached. And then we can start using things like our bottleneck analysis or the visualized process map, our variation analysis, or maybe our breakdown filters to start getting a better understanding of what might be causing these SLAs to breach or these incidents to breach their SLAs. Now, another useful thing here is the ability to do side-by-side -side comparisons. Maybe we want to look at uh, the incidents that are breaching their SLAs versus the entire set of data, in this case, 17,000 incidents that we breached and do some comparisons. So what we can do in that case is, let's say we wanna save this filter set and we'll call it PO SLA demo breaches. And we'll say save. And then we'll clear the filter set to bring us back to the entire data set that we're working with. Now I can use my compare option over here on the right-hand side of the screen to say, okay, I've got that full data set in model A on the left, but now I wanna look at that in comparison to the situation where the incidents have breached. And I can bring that up. And now I've got my side-by-side -side comparison. I can start doing some maybe breakdown analysis to see if there's anything in the breakdowns that jumps out to me as a potential problem area, or I can come over here and I can use my comparison statistics to get some basic stats comparing the two and see the difference between the two models here. 
again, my demo data is not the best. You would probably expect to see things that are breaching SLA to be uh, have a greater discrepancy in terms of their average duration in the negative fashion uh, than the entire model. But you get the idea of how you could potentially start using process optimization to do some analysis around incidents or any records on the platform that have breached a given SLA. Appreciate your time today. Happy mining, everyone.